This is Agent Zero's brand new feature, the memory dashboard. And yes, our memory system is far superior to ChatGPT's. Today we are releasing version 096. If you are unfamiliar with Agent Zero, it's a free open source local AI agent able to do almost anything. It is not just an agent. It is a full operating system controlled by AI, allowing it to install and run software, execute code, use browser, connect to services and much more. Here, Agent Zero downloads and converts media files for me, analyzes stock prices, navigates blockchain, runs a web server, or here it installs password cracking utilities in Kali Linux to break into a protected zip file. Yes, it's a great cybersecurity helper too. But today we're talking specifically about the memory features of Agent Zero. Large language models in general, they don't have the ability to remember. It has to be programmed in the agent application service or whatever is running the large language model. In Agent Zero, we have a very advanced memory system implemented for quite some time now. The system automatically extracts relevant information and successful solutions from the context of the conversation and stores them for later. These are then loaded and injected into the context window completely automatically in the background, very similar to how human brain works. This way, Agent Zero learns over time. As you use it, it becomes smarter and more efficient. ChatGPT can also store some memories, but uh, these are way less frequent and they honestly seem kind of random. You also have no idea when and how are they being used. You don't have that insight into how it works like you do with Agent Zero. This is what you can do with the memory in ChatGPT. You can turn it on and off and you can see the memories. You can see the memory text you can delete the memory one by one or all at once, and that's it. For some reason, you don't even see when the memory was created or why. In Agent Zero, everything is in your hands. We have a configuration for everything, and we have a lot of configuration for the memory. And this is the new memory dashboard in Agent Zero, and it really shows how much more complex our memory system is than ChatGPT's. You can have multiple memory folders completely isolated for different projects, for example. You have memories organized and filtered by their purpose. You can search them semantically. And for every memory in the list, you get a lot of relevant information, like what is the purpose of the memory? Was it collected during conversation or imported knowledge? When was it collected? The preview. And you can work with your memories easily. You can select them, copy, export, delete. You can click the memory to see the full detail, full text, full metadata, and you can even edit the memory if you want to. Again, that's something you cannot do with ChatGPT. ChatGPT doesn't even let you search your memories. On the other hand, the search field in Agent Zero's memory dashboard is fast and powerful. If I search for animals, I will immediately get memories related to my dog, as well as some story made by AI. Even though the word animal doesn't appear anywhere in these memories, that's how the vector database work. It's a semantic similarity search. This way you can very easily organize and export your memories related to a topic. You can also adjust the similarity threshold if you're getting too little or too many results. Everything is up to you. As always, everything is processed and stored completely locally inside the Docker container where you run Agent Zero. So you don't have to worry about your data being stored on a server somewhere. Even the default embedding model in the settings is configured to a locally executed model. This new memory dashboard gives not only users, but also developers a great insight into the brain of Agent Zero, and we can use this knowledge to improve and optimize the memory system even further. So we can expect a lot more updates to come. The memory dashboard is not the only update in this new version. Just briefly, we have a new login screen, thanks to community contribution. We have updated the Kali Linux that Agent Zero runs in to the latest version. We have updated Python inside that Kali Linux, and we have made a split so that Agent Zero, for compatibility reasons, run on version 3.12 in a different interpreter, as opposed to other packages inside Kali Linux, which run on 3.13. We have also updated the browser use framework powering our browser agent, and we now have support for GitHub Copilot LLM endpoint. Thank you very much for your time. If you like what we build, you can give us a star on GitHub. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can see our web. You can learn more about our project, our token. You can see links to our socials and you can join our community. See you next time.